everybody, Cindy Utter here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, you're actually getting to see me live on camera. I'm doing pretty good today. Um, I had to get up and around and get a bunch of stuff done this morning, and thank goodness it's all done. So now I can play in my art room. Um, I wanted to do this. This is a video for Get to Know You. And I saw this going around on YouTube, and I thought, you know, I have a lot of new subscribers, so I think it's about time that I, you know, just kind of update you guys on who I am and a few things about me. So there are 34 questions, and that's what I'm looking at down here. We're going to start out with, what's your name? My name is Cindy Utter. Um, and then it says, what is your nickname? My real name is Lucinda. I don't use that. Um, the only time I get called Lucinda is by my mother, and usually that's if she's pissed. <laughs> so, Cindy Utter it is, that's what I sign my name, that's what everybody knows me by is Cindy, and that's my nickname. Um, do you like your name? Years and years and years ago? No, I hated it. Absolutely hated it. Um, I do like it. It's, it's my name. There's nothing I can do about it. It's, I'm Lucinda. When's my birthday? September 1st. I am a Virgo. What are my three favorite colors? I have three, which are purple, of course, a deep blue, like, I don't, I'm not big on baby blues and, no, I like a deep blue, like a deep, dark indigo blue, okay? Um, and neons, I love neon colors. I don't care what color it is. Yellow, orange, pink, red, blue, I don't care. As long as it's neon, I'm happy with it. What are my three favorite quotes? One of them you guys know from my Facebook page. It's have fun. That's what life's all about. And that is so true. Um, we're here to do this once. We're, we're have fun. You got to have fun. If you don't have fun in life, um, I, I'm really, I feel bad for you because you got to have fun. It doesn't matter what you're getting handed. Just enjoy it. Enjoy life. Okay. Second one is don't let what you can do. I'm sorry, let's try it again. Don't let what you can't do interfere with what you can do. And that is a huge, huge quote um, dealing with chronic pain. Because, as you guys know, I live in chronic pain 24-7. I have a severe back injury with permanent nerve damage. There's a couple things about me. Um, but if you, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, then you're not gonna be able to do anything. So focus on what you can do. I can sit here and make a video. It might take me a couple minutes, but I can sit here and make a video. I can sit here and paint a journal page. I may have to get up a couple times, but I can do it. So focus on that. Um, don't let what you can't do interfere with what you can do. And that's a huge, huge quote of mine. Another thing is don't ever let a bad day make you think you have a bad life. Just because you have a bad day whether it be um, at work and the boss is grumpy or you got written up for something, whatever the case may be, you got written up something, um, you had a car accident, you hit a deer, whatever. Don't think just because you have that one bad incident, that is your entire life. It's not. Tomorrow's going to be better. Okay? I'm off that soapbox. That's my three favorite quotes. <laughs> um, I, don't ha I also wear contacts and glasses, and I don't, yeah, I don't have them on, so... What is your favorite TV? What is your favorite show? TV, YouTube, and movie. I can tell you my all-time favorite movies, and they always will be a Star Wars. I love all of the Star Wars movies. I could sit and watch them. As a matter of fact, there are times when I go on a, a Star Wars binge, and I just have to watch them from start to finish. I just love those movies. Um, as far as TV, we don't turn on the television unless it's football. Okay, I love football. My husband, he could take it or leave it. I love my Steelers. I enjoy the game. I really don't care who's playing. I like the game. So I'm a big football fan. That's the only time our TV is turned on. Other than that, we will watch Netflix, and normally it's me that turns it on. And I love to watch anything that has to do with criminal investigations, NCIS, um, Bitten, that kind of stuff. My favorite of all show has these two gentlemen in it. And if you don't know who these guys are, shame on you. This is Jensen Eccles and Jared Padalecki, and they are on Supernatural. And I just absolutely love that show, as you can tell. Um, so that is my all-time favorite. They have, they're on their 12th season right now, and I've watched them. I couldn't tell you how many times I've watched them over and over and over again, but that's my favorite. What are three qualities you like in a best friend? The very first one is 
honesty. They've got to be honest. Um, the second quality is loyalty. And the third is compassion. And I will be brutally upfront on all three of those. Um, my best friend and I, um, we don't go back a long ways. We've been best friends probably seven or eight years now. But I'll tell you, she's all there. It's fantastic. And I'm there for her as well. Those are my three qualities. What is my dream? <laughs> my dream is to be pain-free. Um, I know that's never going to happen again. I've been told that by the doctors. It's not going to happen. The injury that I have is for life. Um, it is permanent. There's no changing that. So that's my dream, to be pain-free. Um, other than that, since that one I can't change, my other dream is to have a brand new studio. And that is in the works. I am so excited. Um, my husband is building me a 14 by 25 studio um, that's actually attached to our house. And uh, we're in the process of, we have to do the ceiling. I, don't, I say we, he has to do the ceiling, the floors, the subfloor and the main flooring. And then I can start to move in. I'm so excited. So those are my dreams. Do I wear makeup? No. I've tried it a few times and I've went to the, you know, cosmetology counter and had them do it up and bought all the junk to put on. And, you know, it's just not me. I, honestly, I would rather, I'm just natural, all natural, with the exception of my hair. That's not natural, of course. Um, but at this point, I would rather take that money and put it into art supplies. I have a lot more fun. Um, where am I at? Do I wear it? What makes me cry? Pain. Short and simple. If also, if I get really, really, really angry, I will cry. For some reason when I get angry, I cry and I, I don't know why. But I don't get angry that often. I couldn't tell you the last time I was really angry. Um, what makes me angry? Uh, rude people. I don't like rude people. They just, they really annoy me. Um, and any type of abuse, whether it's mental abuse, verbal abu abuse um, to humans, to animals, um, abuse really, really, really makes me angry. What makes me happy? Being with my hubs. Um, he is the light of my life. He is my soul um, rock. He is the other part of me. Uh, we really enjoy spending a lot of time together. We've been together tw oh, 26 years now, and we just really enjoy um, each other's company. And it doesn't even have to be, you know, uh, going and doing something or whatever. We just, just sitting on the couch at night watching, a, you know, an episode of CSI. We just really enjoy each other's company. We enjoy talking, sitting at the dinner table at night and just talking to each other and, and you know, that's what makes me happy. The other thing that makes me happy, of course, is my lovely art room. Um, I love to come in here when I'm feeling good and sit down and just play with paint and paper and, and just share it with you guys. It, it makes me really happy to do that. Um, and my friends. Uh, I have a few good friends, and they're great. They're great people. Um, and that's one thing I will, well, we'll get into that in a minute. There's more on here. Um... Let's see. What is a fan? What is fangirling? Um, I'm just writing down one of those other. There's a question on here about ten random things, so I just put one down. What is fangirling? My opinion of what fangirling is is if you have like a uh, an artist that you um, inspire to be like, and you get to meet that person. To me, that's fangirling. You can ask Gina Ahrens. I uh, got to meet her in March in uh, Las Vegas, and I kept pinching her. I'm like, are you okay? Really? Is it you? Is it you? Really? <laughs> so I think that's fangirling. That's my guess. Um, what are my three favorite snacks? If I could have them all the time, first one would be cherries. I love fresh cherries, you know, with the pits in them. And, uh... Second one, chips. Got to be some kind of chips. Usually uh, like a tortilla chip type style or a um, corn chips or you know regular plain potato chips um, and soft cookies I don't put soft cookies in the house because if I do I'll just sit down and eat them all and I'm gonna give you a fourth one and that's donuts those um, so softy donuts I buy them for my granddaughter and 
I usually end up eating as much as she does, so I try not to keep them in the house. What are my three favorite foods? Mexican is number one. Number one favorite food, Mexican. If I want to go out to dinner, I want to go to Mexican. Not a lot of good Mexican restaurants here in um, this area, but it is what it is. Um, I love my own lasagna. It's one of my favorites. I don't make it that often. It, it takes me a couple days to make it. It's, um, you know, I make all the sauces, everything. So, and the last one, I don't want to hear any comments about this one. <laughs> and it's a filet mignon. But I do not like my steaks to move or moo or bleed. I want them butterflied. I want them chop. I don't care if you chop them up in pieces. I want it done. It's got to be very well done. A lot of people give me trouble with that. But sorry, that's the only way I'll eat it. Okay, what are my three favorite drinks? First is coffee. Uh, if I don't have my coffee in the morning, you don't even want to be anywhere near me. And I've learned to love coffee. I never used to drink coffee until about, I'd say, six or eight years ago. Um, when I was at work, um, the employees uh, went on strike. And I had to work 14 to 16-hour days. And in order to do that, I needed something to keep me awake, you know, because it was seven days a week with those hours. And uh, I started drinking coffee. And let me tell you, I learned to love it. Second is iced tea, and I'm talking home-brewed iced tea. You take the regular tea bags, the boiling water, you pour it in a pitcher, brew your tea, stick it in the fridge. I always put a little bit of honey in mine, but that's my, my go-to drink. And then if I go out, um, it's usually Dr. Pepper. I'll have a Dr. Pepper out to dinner. Can you Okay, this is, can you tell us a little about yourself? At least 10 random facts about you. And this is where I wrote one down, and I've told you a few. Um, I have two grown sons. Um, I also have two granddaughters. One granddaughter will be seven in a couple weeks, and my other granddaughter just turned over one, so she just turned one a little bit ago. Um, I've already told you I'm a Steelers football fan. I love football. Um, I have a motorcycle license. I owned a cocky, yeah, cocky. <laughs> I owned a Kawasaki <laughs> Vulcan 900. Um, absolutely loved, loved, loved my bike. I love to ride. It's just you and the road and the bike, and it's just so awesome. However, with the back injury, uh, my left leg no longer has the strength to hold up my bike. So I did have to um, sell it. But I do have a motorcycle license, and I plan on keeping it. Maybe someday we'll have a trike. We'll see. Um, I also have a pistol permit. Uh, my husband was a FFL dealer, which is a federal firearms licensed dealer. Um, guns don't kill people. People kill people. Okay. Guns, knives, whatever. Cars. Um, so I do have a pistol permit. I do take a lot of different courses with my pistol permit. Um, you just have to learn how to handle them safely. And I don't think there's any issue whatsoever of having a pistol permit. Um, I love to travel absolutely love to travel i i'm not so much overseas per se but i i really want to see more of our country there's there's so much out there so much beauty and just so many unique little towns and and we enjoy it we really enjoy traveling so i i love to travel i love to walk along the beach um especially if it's not cold <laughs> um but one thing i've noticed about the beach is it's so noisy but it's it's calming but it's still really noisy, but I love to walk along the beach. I also uh, used to love to do walks in, you know, the woods with my hubs and spend a lot of time outside. Um, unfortunately, I don't do a lot of that anymore due to the mobility issues. Um, I have eight siblings, if you can believe that. It's crazy. I know. Two sisters and two, uh, three, five brothers. Um, one has passed, uh, but everybody else is still here. Um, one thing that's kind of random fact about me is I don't let people easy into my life. I tend to be very, um, I don't trust you. <laughs> I, I, I don't like to get hurt, so I don't let a lot of people in. And if I do, it's for life. Um, I think that's enough about me. Let's go on. Uh, what are three fun things I like to do? Love to go antique shopping, thrift store shopping, consignment store shopping. Um, I love to shop. I also love to have bonfires and hang out at night, um, sitting around a bonfire, you know, with a few good friends and just 
maybe a you know a sketchbook and just chilling out it's a lot of fun I really enjoy that what else do I like to do I already told you I like to travel I love to art um, what best describes where I live I live in central New York I do not live in New York City it's five hours away from me which it can stay there I live in central New York which um, I'm not far from the Adirondacks and we have where I live I actually live in what they call a snow belt which means we get a lot of snow um, there's three four ski areas uh, within 15 minutes of my house um, I don't mind living here it's a beautiful beautiful country we have a lot of rolling hills we also have mountains if you go to the Adirondacks we have the Finger Lakes which are absolutely stunning and the wineries up and down the Finger Lakes and I mean there's just so much to do here in central New York it's 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 a nice place to live the only thing I don't like is when we have I think it was not last year but a couple years ago we had like the 30 below for a month that's no fun I don't like that kind of cold weather the snow I don't care I can drive anywhere in that that's not a problem but that's where I live um, what is my crafty style this one I really had to think about because I'm kind of all over the place. But if I have to put it into a style, I'm going to say reuse, smash, play. Okay? I love to find something, you know, sitting here on my desk, aluminum foil. I love to find something that I can reuse into my art in some way. I like to, um, you know, recycle. You know, I've got, I just, this is a pharmacy bag, a bank envelope. Um prescription paper but I love to reuse Oops, sorry hold on ouch drop something okay um, so reuse smashy play because that's what I do I play I really enjoy just playing um, what is my most used crafty tool paintbrush I always use my paintbrushes I love my paintbrushes what is my most wished for crafty tool? Honestly, at this point, I don't have one. Um, I pretty much have everything I want. Uh, my husband and I went a couple days ago and I got myself a drill, you know, a small drill and a small screwdriver. I, I've been borrowing his and his are really heavy, so I really don't have anything at this point that I really want or need. Um, as you can see behind me, I have more than enough. Um... What is my favorite craft brand? I don't have a favorite. I'll tell you that right now. I don't. I do like uh, Viva, especially when it comes to these, these creams. I love these. Um, I like the Faber-Castells when we talk about the pens. Um, I love the Derwent Inktense pencils. I love those. I wish they'd come out with a lot more colors on those. Um, I just I love supplies and I use all I like golden I have a bunch of golden paints uh, the golden factory just a little uh, known fact the golden factory is only about 45 minutes for me so I can get in the car and go over to golden and get samples anytime I need to Shh, don't tell anybody <laughs> so um, I've only been over there twice now but it is it's only 45 minutes for me so come visit I can take you to golden um, let's see what else that's my favorite brand. What is your favorite craft? Painting and collage. I love to just play with paint and paper. Do I have any pets? I have two cats. I have uh, Buster, who's 11. He's a little boy. He's daddy's boy. He's solid black with a little bit of white on his chest. And then I have Abby. She is a torty. Um, and she is 13 years old. And she has a thyroid problem. I had to put her on thyroid medicine. She uh, went from 13 pounds down to 5 pounds, like, boom, in two weeks. She just, we couldn't figure out what was wrong, but she has a bad thyroid. Um, we've talked about it, my husband and I have talked about it, and because we do like to travel, I don't know if once these kitties are gone, if we're going to get more, because we do like to travel. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, besides my two kitty cats, I have about 16 fish. They're just little tropical fish um, hanging out in the tank. And with them, I have a Picosimus. And if you don't know what that is, that's just a little funky-looking algae eater. And he's about that long. The fish are really tiny. But it's in a 55-gallon tank. I love my fish and my Picosimus. When is my favorite time to craft? When it doesn't hurt. <laughs> um, usually early in the morning. When I first get up in the morning, I 
depending on the day. Um, some days I wake up in extreme pain. Other days I wake up and it's like, ah, I can deal with this today. But normally I try to craft early in the morning just because it's easier for me at that time. As the day gets later and later and I'm on my back more or on my feet or not laying down enough, then it gets hard um, to craft. Now, sometimes late at night, I will feel really good and it's like oh, okay I can stay up tonight and I can craft so you know there's really no favorite time if I have to pick I'm gonna say first thing in the morning to craft only a few more questions um, do you have a favorite non crafty YouTube channel no I don't but what I do enjoy watching on YouTube is I am very intrigued on how the mind works I'm very intrigued on what people think um, so I do tend to watch videos, you know, if um, a child that's got schizophrenia or multiple personality disorder or um, uh, Down syndrome or any anything like that, anything that works with the mind, um, I enjoy watching things like that. It, to me, it's just so intriguing. If I would have had my way years ago, I would have definitely been a psychologist. And um, my ideal job would have been to um, to counsel the criminally insane. So that's just that's just a little tidbit about me. Um, what is my favorite store? Thrift stores and consignment stores. Love, love, love them. And I also like Tuesday morning because you can get a lot of really cool art supplies really cheap. What is my favorite restaurant? I think we did this. Mexican, didn't we? Yeah, favorite, favorite food, Mexican, or I like the Texas Roadhouse, if I'm in the mood for a good steak, because they cook it the way I like it. Uh, what is your favorite magazine? I have two. Um, one is art journaling. This isn't the magazine, but this is what it looks like. That's the cover. And what I do with the art journaling, after I get done reading them all, and, you know, I read them for a couple months, and then I cut them out. I cut out anything that inspires me, whether it be a color palette, um what you know maybe a flower that i think is cool or oh i like that design or what about you know that birdhouse or oh those are pretty neat um i cut these out and this is one of my inspiration journals and what i do it's just a composition notebook and i i just cut these pictures out and then if i'm sitting here and i want to do a page i want to create a page and i'm like i don't know what colors do you say i want something different i'll just pop this open and it's like oh i really like that Let's check out this orange, a little bit of green and blue today. Throw some white in. Let's see what we can come up with. So this is one of my very favorite um, books, uh, magazines. Love, love, love this one. And the same with the Somerset Studio. I don't have that here. That's actually in a big three-ring binder over there somewhere. Um, but I do the same thing. I'll read them, and then once I'm done reading all the articles and, and putting what I can in this little brain of mine, then I'll take them and same thing, cut them out. I also will cut stuff like this out to use in my own personal journal. So like, for example, I may take this page here and I uh, might cut a couple, you know, borders to throw in my personal journal just to, you know, smash, smash it up a little bit and uh, make it look interesting. So that's my two favorite magazines. Um, who's my favorite author? I don't have one, but I do read a lot. Uh, I really enjoy, right now I'm in the process of reading, um, it's called the Deathland series. It is 125 books. And basically what it is is 100 years from now in a world that went through a nuclear explosion, nuclear holocaust, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And so it's kind of like a futuristic, but there's 125 books. And I'll tell you, they're fantastic. I really like them. Um, we started at book one, and I think I'm now at like 102, and my husband's at like 98 or something. So I enjoy that series. Um, and that is um, written by James Axler. Of course, he has passed away, and but they still use his name. Um, the people that have taken on the series and kept it going, they still use James Axler as, as the author. Um, other than that, I love a good murder mystery. Uh, it's been a while since I've read a really good murder mystery, but I also read a lot of books about angels. I read a lot of books about paranormal um, spirits. Uh, again, like I said, that you know that kind of. Um, I have a book that I just started about um, depression and anxiety. So I, I read a lot of a variety. I am not a chick flick or a chick book romance person at all. That's just, I, that's not me. 
Um, what are my favorite shoes? If I have a choice, absolutely none. Other than that, my favorite are sneakers. I love my sneakers. You can go anywhere in them. Um, or flip-flops. In the summertime, it's flip-flops. Uh, and speaking of, what is my favorite time of year? And it's funny because I was thinking about this and I thought, hmm. There's things about each season that I really like. Okay, fall, I like the fact that the leaves are all turning. It's crisp. Um, you can smell it in the air. You can smell the snow starting to come. It's just, it's a change. You can feel that change. Uh, winter is more like a... Um, like a comforting isolation it's very quiet outside it's very white outside um, you know everything is kind of like in hibernation mode and that's what I like about winter is because I can go into hibernation mode which means I get to spend more time turn on my pellet stove get in my art studio turn crank up the music and just play where it's nice and warm and cozy um, spring everything is brand new you see life starting all over again and then summer, of course, everything's warm and everybody's out and everybody's busy and, you know. But I think, honestly, if I have to pick one as my favorite, I'm going to have to say it's spring. And it's because there's all new life. You get the snow melting. You get the buds coming out on the trees. You start seeing the, the uh, crocuses pop up out of the snow. And so even though it's muddy and sometimes it's still chilly, I have to say spring. That's my favorite. So that is the end of the questions. Now what I'm going to do is I'll put them in the description box below. And I'm sorry, my, my eyes are itching. It's driving me crazy. Um, I will put the questions in the description box below. If you're interested in doing this tag, go for it. I just, you know, I thought with as many new subscribers as I have, it might be a good idea just to get a look at me and, and see who I am and what I'm all about. Okay. So as always, Please be kind. You have no idea what somebody else is going through. And I know that comes from Kelly Donovan, but I it, I, I say it with my heart full. Um, just, you know, be kind to people. You can meet a person one day and just give them a smile and you may change their day. You may change their life. So, and as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. Please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share. Okay, it all helps out. And we'll see you guys again. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.